I basically used my documentary sense in the sense that I would meet with each actor to do a private rehearsal and we would read the script, we would read their scenes together in Spanish, the movies in Spanish, and I would start asking them if they have similar experiences or they did, did, they did, know, did they know someone who was like this and they would start telling me stories and I would say, do you mind if I use that in the movie? And so I recorded all of our rehearsals and then I rewrote the scenes. Um, which drove the producers crazy. I bet. Because there were so many drafts. But then, but what happened was, the actors had never, at least my actors, who were all professional actors, I didn't do the non-actor thing. Um, although I, a lot of extras became speaking roles, but I wasn't going to also deal with non-actor. I needed, right. like, help. So mm -hmm. they felt more invested in the movie, and I did some improvisation, but really I did all the rewriting ahead. Mm -hmm. So we would do this, the script, we would do the scenes, and I always let them do, at the end, I would be like, okay, let's do it off the book. Just right. do whatever. And we would do a take where, like, it was the scene, but it was, like, loose. So, and, and the movie became a combination of, but it was a process that never ended. It was, like, even during rehearsals and stuff, I was still rewriting. And so I feel like I got the texture and authenticity that I, that I crave as a documentary mm -hmm. filmmaker. You know, I see in, in your clip there always something obstructing the frame. We do, I do the same thing. It's like, it, like it's, you know, not accessible. Everything in fiction is often so clear. It's like, there it is. It's perfectly shot. You know, you want something in the front, or you want to be like, you have to look a little, you know, so I think that instinct also came in, not to make it so easy. And we shot the whole thing the way I would have done a doc, and it saved it. And I didn't, it didn't save everything. I didn't just start doing that, but it was like it gave me the confidence, and it was natural, and the camera caught up a beat too late when she said hello. And it was like off cue, and it was natural, and I ended up cutting the scene, but it worked. <laughs> you know, it was like, I was like, okay. Found the language, just don't lose your doc. Don't lose, that's why they gave you the money. They like your work, you like your work. <laughs> don't fucking start being somebody else because you don't have anything to offer in like the clean, perfect, shiny palette. I don't do it, so don't try.